Hey everyone, this is me, Sapya here, and I'm back with another bonus lab read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. Topic of the reading for Sagittarius is, will they ever commit to you or not? Whatever the current situation is, you really wonder at times, will your person ever give you the commitment that you want, or will they take things next level with you or not? This reading will definitely help you know that. Probably you are with this person for quite some time. But they have never told you that they want to commit to you or they want to kind of like, you know, take things next level with you. You are waiting for the commitment. You are waiting for things to be official between the two of you now. You really want to know, will they ever give you the commitment or you are just wasting your time with this person? We're going to tap into all of that in this reading. We will also be taking some oracle cards as well. So stay tuned on before I dive into the read. Sagittarius, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, will they ever give you the commitment? We have our first card here, which is Three of Wands. Um, <clears throat> to be very honest, like, uh, I really feel like, you know, you, you should stop waiting for the commitment to come in because the more you wait for it, the more things are going to get messier between the two of you. If you could take things one step at a time or you could live in the moment with this person, there are strong chances like, you know, this person will give you the commitment that you want. But if you really want it now, I feel like, you know, that's where the issue is. Um, I really feel like, you know, you have to surrender your future with this person to the divine um, timing. And I feel like you know, it's very important for you to know that you have to be patient. Uh, this person is going to give you commitment. Probably they're going to take time. Um, so have patience with them. Um, then we have the magician, then we have the lovers, then we have the page of pentacles. I really feel like, you know, uh, only the deck, we don't have the two of pentacles. Um, I really feel like, you know, for, for a majority of you, um, the connection that you have is kind of very exclusive, kind of very, um, prominent. You both have a kind of a good connection, good bonding with each other. Uh, when it comes to the commitment that you want or the way you want things to be, uh, official, you know, where your family knows, their family knows, your friends knows, their friends, uh, you know, their friends knows. I feel like you know that is not happening right now. I really feel like you know, it's pretty much between you and your person for now. Um, but they will give you the commitment that you want. Um, I feel like you know, but but I really feel like you know, um, they do have some mental blocks around it. Like you know, they they feel that there there is um. There could be religious or cultural differences between the two of you, which is the reason why they have their mental blocks around it. For some reasons, they feel that, you know, it is going to be a lot of uh, struggle to, to make it happen. Um, now, this, this could be because of, uh, again, the cultural differences. Maybe the family approval is also going to be an issue because of the cultural or religious differences. There could be age difference. There could be some other issues, like maybe either one of you is already married or have kids as well, which could also be an issue. But I feel like, you know, this person is... Um, It's going to take time because I feel like, you know, the self-imposed blocks that they have, it's going to take them time to kind of like, you know, break free from it. Um, but I feel like, you know, they are going to take longer than you desire, basically. For majority of you, you're going to start feeling like maybe it's never going to happen before this person actually give into the connection. You would feel like giving up on them for majority of you. You're going to feel like maybe they, know, they don't love you or they don't want this connection with you because of their own mental, physical, emotional blocks. Let's see, why do they have those blocks? I feel like it's, it's more of your person's energy, which is not like, you know, um, there yet. I feel like, you know, you feel a lot more than this person feels towards having a future with you. I feel like probably they have never thought about it like in a deep way where they could like, you know, see what can be done rather than thinking of what cannot be done. So I really feel like, you know, um, that's what I see is an issue here. I really feel like your person is not taking, um, you know, time to think through things around it. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, their, their, their fear is that probably, you know, there will be issues in, in uh, you know, um, making things official, which they don't want to take right now. 
So what they are doing is they are taking their time out. They are taking their time to you know allow things to be right now, and they are waiting for a suitable time where things can be worked out. So they don't have any plan to go about it. To be very honest, I don't see them having any plan. They're just wishing, hoping that one day, someday, they are going to like you know be able to make it happen. Um, they really don't want to put effort. In, in regards to that so I really feel like your person is not taking right action here which is the reason why there is no commitment coming in anytime soon but I really feel like you know your person is waiting for an opportunity uh, to come through so they could give into the connection the way you desire they could make things official um, whatever that is but it is going to take them time it is going to take them time to make things happen so you have to be very patient with them um, but if you really want commitment now probably this is not the person for you because um, trust me it's just gonna make you uh, feel bad the way this person is going to take time it's just gonna mess your mind it's just gonna mess your brain uh, because you're gonna start fearing that maybe they are just wasting your time and that's what is going to cor you know corrupt your mind even further with negative thoughts so you will be having tough time with this person to get the commitment that you desire because they have their mental blocks about you and about this connection so i really feel like you know they're gonna take time but they will give you the commitment but if if you choose to wait because i feel like you know the waiting period seems to be very long um and uh, they are not like you know they, they are sitting and waiting they are not taking action to be honest they are hoping that one day things will work out things will go in the favor people are going to go in the favor for this connection they are not even talking about it they are not even taking action around it um, and they will talk about it, make take action about it, but after probably m more than a year time or something, I really feel like you know this person is going to take more than that, more than that even. So let's see what shall you do right now in the given circumstances. What shall you do instead? <clears throat> Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your ears? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with this challenge. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, it's up to you, you know. If you really want your love life to move ahead, probably you can move ahead with, you know, choosing to uh, move forward with your life. So this person have the space to either think about you or to, you know, if they let you go, then probably they never want you. Um, to the point where they want to take things next level with you or they take you serious enough where they would want to make you theirs. So I really feel like, you know, there is something that you need, really have to kind of, uh, um, you know, um, think through before you take any action. I feel like, you know, for, for some of you, probably you would choose to wait. But for majority of you, I really feel like, you know, you are going to need to move on in your life. Uh, and this person, because they are not taking any action, it, it might, uh, you know, make you feel like probably you just need to move on. And for some of you, yes, as you're going to choose that, probably this person is going to give you the commitment that you desire out of their fear. Um, you know, what if you if you actually move on from them? That can also trigger them to give you the commitment. But for others of you, probably you would be moving on to somebody better. Uh, maybe that's what Divine really wants you to take action towards. But yes, think through things first for yourself because it's a general read. So don't take any hasty decision. Just look deep into it, contemplate, think through things, and then decide. Then we have motivation. When spring approaches, the fairy flower urges you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. So again, I feel like it's very important right now for you to know uh, what do you desire in your life right now. Is it actually bothering or your inner peace being on the waiting side for the commitment or are you okay with it? Decide after choosing to, um, you know, decide and choose after thinking about it. And that's, that would be the best thing for you to do um, before you take any action. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.